Western and Ukrainian media are creating thousands of fake news on Russia every day. Some of them are simple and made with little to no effort. Here we can spot a Z ladder layered over some videos. Makes you think they belong to the Russian military. Well, the actual footage was shot in Donbass in 2014. Sometimes you can use a screenshot and put words over it. You don't have to be a military expert to tell that the missiles are being launched and not hitting anything. Here's a brave Ukrainian girl standing up to a Russian soldier. Yeah, but if you actually hit play, you could tell that this is an Israeli soldier and a Palestinian girl. Gets the job done, though. Sometimes the propaganda machine uses very placed shots. Well, no wonder. They were taken from a 1996 Serbian movie Pretty Village, Pretty Flame. It got some decent reviews, too. Here we can spot some Russian planes on their way to bomb Kiev. Probably straight from the May 9th victory parade in Moscow they were used at. Now this picture states that the Russians are using multiple launch rocket systems. And they were indeed used in military drills a year ago. Here's the Ukrainian ambassador to the UN, Sergei Kislitsa. And here's the last minute text of a dead Russian soldier. The only thing is that Russian soldiers are not allowed to use cell phones in combat missions, especially iPhones. The tweet says this is a Ukrainian hero who died bravely. Probably a twin brother of a Serbian actor, Nana Dokanovic. Well, you all remember this lady. By the way, great photos, they were all over the news. And a couple of days later, well, good for her, not a scratch. Now, the cheapest trick in the book is to play some audio over video. Sometimes just any video can do the trick. You can take a look at this helpless crowd running away from the Russian invasion. Let's play back the video to the very beginning. Here we go, and action! It also worked for the Invasion Planet Earth movie, though. 